Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Eddie, again. Um, today, I will be doing some um, practicals, and um, I will be definitely going with the um, rubric that is given up here. Uh, I'm going to pull it up right now. Um, I'm pulling it up. While I'm pulling that up, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping um, my table for what is to come. So um, right here, I'm going to be using this table, this um, laboratory table mat. And um, let me see um, what the instructor says um, we're going to be using. Um, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to get there in a little bit. So we're going to go to content. Um, when we get to content, we're going to go to um, lab manual. That's what we're going to see, lab number two. And it basically gives us an introduction to everything that we need to know, like learning objectives about um, everything, nine, la, 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 the whole nine, about lab and everything that we need to know. But um, for the most part, I already went through it for the most part. Um, he's just telling us like, you know, carbohydrate, how many stuff he has, like, you know. Um, now we're gonna, the first experiment we're gonna be doing is, um, uh, carbohydrate, yeah, it's just, Right here, she says um, the materials we're gonna be using today, let me move this to the side. The material we're gonna be using today is um, two, two 250 ml um, bakers, uh, which is this right here. Let me just make sure that I have the right size. Yes, 250 bakers right here, and I have two of those right here, boom, boom, boom. Um, let me set them together so that way I know what the hell I'm doing. And right here too, it has the description, like the bakers. Let me see. Uh, let me see right here. I think that is M. Bakers, yes, it's correct. So now the next thing we need is 10 ml um, burette solution. 10 ml burette solution. This is the burette solution right here, and this is 10 ml. So we're gonna put that right here as a second. Um, let's move this up a little bit. And um, uh, we have one Knuss gelatin packet. That is uh, the solution, the glucose solution that we have. That is. Six is H12 and oxygen six. Um, if it's a solution, it is right here. Boom. This is it right here. We're gonna put the third one right here. And the one we need again is 10 ml um, Dracula cylinder. We got a 10 ml right here. Uh, by the way, I know what, uh, for the most part, I know what all of this is but I just want to make sure that I like I walk myself through it, you know? Um, and the next one here we need is 100 ml graduate cylinder. This is the 100 ml. Um, right here, boom, correct, <laughs> like a peeler. Um, the next one is permanent marker. We got permanent marker somewhere. We got permanent marker right here. We're gonna see that right here. And we have five, um, Pipes. One, two, three, four, five. Five pipes right here. We have it right here. And um, we have five test tube glasses. Uh, I'm assuming this is test tube glasses. Uh, let me see. Yup. One, two, three, four, five. Complete. Five test tube glasses complete I'm gonna set them up right here this is again me testing for protein um, let me leave them in the glasses because I don't want to break them 
I hear one of my colleagues says she broke hers. I don't want to deal with it. Um, then I have um, 5 ml unknown solution. I think I should have unknown solution somewhere. Where did that go? This is the unknown solution right here. Unknown solution, um, 5 ml, boom. Let's see this one right here. And we need egg white, hot water, and tap water. So, first of all, I'm gonna get hot water. The water is running right now for it to be hot. Um, once it get hot, I'm gonna see how how hot it can get. This is like um, the sixth minute and we're still prepping. Let's see. Okay, cool. The water is hot. Let's get some water out. This is the hot water right here. We're gonna sit that right here on the table. And it said, uh, uh, we need tap water. It is not in the cake. So we're gonna run cold tap water right here. And, um, Let me see, right here it says egg white. So our egg white is gonna be from this edge right here. Two of this egg, we're gonna get our egg white from here. So let me keep that here so it doesn't break up. Uh, the top of that is still running by the way, so give it a little bit of time, let it work. So just to run through it again, um, 250 ml bakers, um, we got two of those, one, two. We have um, 10 ml burette solution. Uh, burette solution right here, we have... Uh, this one, I don't know what this one is. Uh, guillotine parquet. Let me see. Hmm. Guillotine parquet. I don't know where that is, but let me get my cold water part. Boom. Now that that is good, this is the cold water. Now we're gonna um, give a team. Let me see right here. Uh, I would just take this to be the guillotine. And we have 100 ml. Let me see this. Hold on one second. Look, I am still a student. I'm still learning, but I guess this is what you gotta do when you wanna be a doctor. So welcome to my doctor world. How do you open the shit? is a uh, 5 ml guillotine. It's not even here. Make sure. 
sure I don't have no guillotine up here. Ikirugos. Stops liquid. Benefit solution. Hydrogen peroxide. Acid. Saturated sodium. So that is not here. I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna proceed with the um, with the test. So right here, they said um, the protein mo the protein molecules, the many foods, provides the amino acid building blocks required by our own cells to produce new proteins. To determine whether a sample contains protein, a reagent called Bucrest solution is used. Buret solutions contains copper ion, copper ions, similar to Benedict solution, another common reagent. However, okay, so um, this is what we're gonna do: changing the color of the solution. Uh, da -da 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 -da. However, the chemical state of the copper ion in the Buchers solution causes them to form a chemical complex um, with the peptide bonds between amino acids when present changing the color of the solution. Bigger solution is normally blue. Uh, let me see. Yep, it's normally blue, but changes to pink when short peptides are present and to violet when long polypeptides are present. So let's see what happens from here. Procedures that we're gonna go from here. Predict re predict the result based on a previous learned set of information is sometimes called an a period a pure prediction i've never heard that before before you begin take a moment to construct a prediction uh stating whether or not there are proteins i mean stating on whether there are proteins is like um in eggs yes there will be proteins in eggs yes presence of protein that's my prediction that's my prediction right there and uh in each of the following um solution egg white table one okay table one um now we're gonna get um uh, let's see. Then, use the knowledge of Bikuri solution chemistry to refer to experimental introduction to predict the color of each of the four solutions. I would say the first one, the Albion one, will be um, blue. It will be blue. Blue. Pale, pale, that's what I'm gonna go for. Blue, 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 then light pale into pale. One, two, three, four, five. Like, water should be neutral, but we're gonna see what's gonna happen over there. Um, to predict the color of each solution when mixed with Bucure solution, you must predict the initial color as well as the final color. Okay, I already predicted the initial color. I mean, egg white is colorless. This one is blue. Um, the initial colors you must use your color as well as the final color. The color after record these predictions in table one. You may now begin your experiment by using the experiment marker to label five test tubes one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's see. 15 minutes, we're just about to start. This is test tube number one. And uh, this is test tube number two. It is test tube number three. This is test tube number four. And we have a fifth one. 
again, this is what you gotta do when you wanna be a doctor, man. Don't ever give up on your dream. I gotta make mama proud. All right, so now that we have all of this, let me put on my gloves for safety reasons because I'm gonna be dealing with some chemical agents that I don't know how my skin is gonna react to them. So with that said, it's time to get busy, mama, shorty, people, nigga. It's time to get busy, man. Let's get it. Okay, now let's get it. Um, prepare your testing samples as follows. Mix one egg white with 25 ml water in a 250 baker. One egg white. Okay, cool. This is our egg white. I'm gonna get a bowl right here. Seat this bowl right here. Put this egg white in here, get a knife. Um, to break the egg white. Now let me get the egg whites out. These are the egg whites coming out. Oh, the yolk came out with it. But don't, not to worry. We got the egg whites right there. We'll put this up here. Uh, we're gonna get us another bowl to get the yolk out. Now that the yolk is out, we can proceed now. Um, it says here, uh, mix one egg white uh, with 25 ml water. Okay, cool. One egg white, 25 ml water. Let me bring this here so that y'all can see. This is my egg white sample right here. I'm putting it up here, boom, boom. That's my egg white right there. It's in there, 25 ml water. He didn't say if it's hot or cold, but I will go for cold. Five ml. That is it right there. Uh, mix one egg white with twenty-five ml water in a baker to create a solution. Already did that. Stir until dissolved. Stir until dissolved. So. Let me stir this up. Uh. Now it is dissolved. I take five ml. Solution into test tube one. Set five ML. Done 
turn off for me. Let me get it really good. Okay, that is it right there. Into test tube one. That's it right there. Now, this replaces test tube one. Um, you will mix the pocket of Knoss Gelatin with 50 ml of water. Pocket of This one is the pocket of notes you get it seen. Boom, right here. It says right here, B is uh, mix the pocket of Knox guillotine uh, with 50 ml of hot water. 50 ml of hot water in a second to Okay. Take this one out. This is my guillotine. Put it right here. In a second, 250 ml cup. Put this out. And it says right here, uh, in hot water. Is this still hot? No, it's not hot anymore. Let me get hot water going up here. Let me get one hot water going up here. While waiting for that, for the hot water to come through, uh, glucose solution. Boom! This is my this is my next one that I'm using. Boom! This one is still here. This is what we have so far from the first test tube. This is what we have so far from the first test tube. That's test tube number one. We're still waiting for the rest. Yeah, it says mix the pocket. Boiling up. It said, uh, B he mix in a second to his DML. DML. Oh, 
Okay. This one is done. It said mix uh mix pattern of guns in 50 ml. Let me use a fresh one. So 50 ml is gonna be this. So this is 50 ml. We're gonna put it in here. That's 50 right there. You see a new tube. Um, she said, um, her order, ML Baker, stay on to dissolve. Stay on to dissolve. This is what I'm coming up with, like a new card. Let me see. Then the next step is, uh, Maybe I should just use my hand to tear this stuff up. I am on step number four. B, the last part is gonna be putting this up in the test tube number two. Still staring up just to make sure I do everything right. Because this is my practical. Okay, so now let's see. It seems we have to take it looks like mucus, but okay. <laughs> 